Hello, my name is Glenn Lewis, and I will be taking you through this tutorial today. We will be talking about uh, natural air drying uh, settings in the fall. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh, so my controller is set up for two fans and two heaters, uh, and we're not going to talk about the heaters because we're just going to do the natural air today. Uh, this is the, I have lights for demonstration purposes only. They are not uh, an option on the controller. Alrighty, so let's uh, open bin setup here and we want to make sure that your minimum air temperature is set to 30 degrees and your maximum air temperature is set to 90 degrees. This information can be found on your door chart. Uh, it's titled Suggested Controller Settings. The next thing we want to check is your sensor count and grain sensors. I have one cable on this demo unit, so I have six sensors. If you have two, then you'll have 12. If you have three uh, cables, you'll have 18. And if you have four cables, you'll have 24 sensors. And changing this information is pretty easy. You just click on the data selector and you just change the information. When you're done, click on it again and you'll notice that the chevron comes back. Next, we want to ch check your individual sensors here. You want to make sure that they're all reading correctly. Uh, if you find some that are not uh, reading correctly, like uh, my number two and number six here, uh, they're reading 25, or they can read 120. Um, these are default settings, and uh, you know, unless it's hotter than 120 where you're at, or colder than 25, uh, those most likely are not um, good. So you can actually onX these. Uh, and on Xing means that uh, it just takes it out of the average. So you'll notice up here it says 60. And when I, I on X it, it automatically goes up to 69. So now we'll go back up to the top here and close that. And then we'll scroll down here to RH control type. And you'll notice that it says none. Uh, and that is correct. We're not, this tutorial is not talking about heaters, so you'll want to leave that on none. Go ahead and close this menu and go to moisture controls. Make sure that it is on. If it's off, then you're not going to see this stuff here. So go ahead and turn that on. Current moisture is set at 18. If your grain is wetter than 18, uh, the maximum you you want to use this for is 18. This is a setting and not a reading, meaning you have to put that value in there. The controller will not update that. All right. The target moisture is basically the, what you want it to be when it's all done. Okay. Now our adjusted controller setting sheet has the target moisture at 15.5. So I'm going to leave this at 15.5, but you'll change this to whatever it is that you need that set to. Plus and minus moisture will always be 0 0.5 in any drying mode. All right. So just leave that at 0 0.5 or if it's not at 0 0.5, uh, change it to 0 0.5. EMC limit, uh, we recommend five on the on the chart. Go ahead and leave that at five. When, you'll want to start lowering this when you start lowering your uh, uh, current moisture. Uh, once you start going below 18, you'll want to start uh, move, moving this down to uh, start dialing in your uh, your moisture uh, that that you use. Use uh, CEMC value. This uh, this gives you another value uh, for the controller to to use uh, to operate your fans automatically. 
CEMC stands for Corrected Equilibrium Moisture Content. And if you notice that your fans are running when it's rainy or foggy out, uh, having this setting on most of the time is the reason why it's running during those times. So if you want to turn it off, you just click this and turn it to off. And that's it. But you should leave it on if, you're, if your grain is wetter than 18%. It can help uh, dry your grain faster. EMC Calibrate, we're going to leave that at zero. Go ahead and close this. And let's go to bin status. And we'll just take a look at some things here. Here's your air temperature, your, your humidity, the equilibrium moisture content, your corrected equilibrium moisture content readings, your grain temperature. That's the same uh, menu that you had uh, when we looked at the other uh, grain temps. I'll go ahead and open that. You can see that these are the same. Okay. And then you got uh, fan run time, and if you have hot hot spotting on, you'll have hot run time also. Um, and that'll be another tutorial. We'll talk about hot run time. I'd recommend that you leave this uh, the screen on here when you're all done. Um, once you are um, finished uh, programming your controller. I always like to turn it off and set these to automatic and then go ahead and power up and then you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the number below. Thank you for your time.